Dear Sophia Rilosa, thank you so much for watching me today. But before I start our topic, I'd like to greet all our fathers. Happy Father's Day. And I hope that you enjoy this beautiful and wonderful day. Um, so today I'll be talking about the cause and effect or uh, in, in similar terms, this is what we call the karma. Okay, so um, uh, basically I, the way I see karma is something that happens to us on a daily basis, whether it's a small thing or a big thing, but I'll explain that. So over the course of this entire week, I was thinking of a way of how to actually explain it to you and um, and how it thinking about it will help you understand how the bigger picture of feng shui is. Uh, so I was having struggles in actually finding the way to explain, so instead I'll just talk about uh, what I experienced. This was actually the time that uh, the second part of the when I found out about feng shui, and this was already the time I was already using it in my life, and then at that time I was following already or reading books of that the Joey app. I haven't enrolled yet, but um, I was already reading books and I uh, acquired some of the books. And uh, at that time, it was 2015, my business was already doing good and I can actually hire my own Feng Shui Master and I wanted to uh, develop my environment for the betterment, basically. Uh, but since my master, the one that I was following, which is that book, Joey Yap, uh, he lives in Malaysia and it's really expensive, I couldn't afford it. So I had to look for someone here local, tangkilikin ng sariling ating kumbaga. So I had to uh, look somewhere here local and I found one and he has a billboard. Uh, so yun, I actually called him up and then invited him if he could actually uh, do a feng shui uh, for my home. Actually it's two homes, it was for, uh, for my in-laws and for ours. And uh, so, pumasok siya, you know, pinupong siya the house, and then the first thing he said, oh, bilhin mo to, you know, bilhin mo tong food dogs, it's going to prevent you from robbery, you buy this um, a Buddha thing that's gonna bring in wealth and more sales, and then another Buddha, and then this frog that I had to put, uh, you know, around the stairs, I had to surround my stairs with a lot of these small frogs, uh, anyways, I bagwa everything, you name it. And hindi biro yung prices ng mga charms. They're not cheap at all on top of the charge or the services of the phone play master. It was really expensive. And um, two hours later, he left. He never saw him again. Or he never asked for, uh, he never gave me any follow up or anything or, you know, updates. And then after that, my entire life went downward spiral. And uh, during that time, it was right after the, the Feng Shui, uh, I lost a lot of clients and then I had uh, uh, and then this big deal that we had then, I was not paid. And then it was non-stop fighting with me and my husband and then I had some health issues also. And uh, me and my mother had this uh, fight, it was a huge fight and we never talked for like a few months or months or years. So basically, a lot of things actually went down and it wasn't just that, a lot of things happened after that. And then um, basically downward spiral. And that's when I uh, realized that the charms don't work. No matter how expensive or how big they are, they do not work because how can you expect a thing to contribute again to the environment? It doesn't have any active energy. So how can you expect it to actually contribute to the environment if it doesn't have any energy to begin with. So anyways, um, when that happened, I was no longer in sync with my environment. I just, it, it was, it was, it, it didn't make me someone that's motivated or uh, I was too complacent. And um, I was in a state of inertia basically in my life and which is why that was the cause, okay? Which is why I, the, the, me being uh, complacent or lazy, that is a cause and the effect was I had I lost clients I lo I was not paid uh, you know a constant fight with my husband and then I had a fight with my mom and so on and so forth okay so these are the costs the actions that I actually did okay and this was the effect because the reason why this happened in the beginning it's because my environment was not synced with me 
I was no longer motivated. I was at that time I was a little bit I was a little bit getting depressed, and then I uh, I was confused what was happening to me. So that was the experience or the thing that I felt that when I realized that the char charms don't work. Okay, so kasi nga nawalan na eh. That that's the purpose of the feng shui to make sure that you align your environment to make it in sync with you so that you can actually do the action or the cause of action to give you the effect that you want. Because life is, you can't wait for life to happen to you. Okay, You have to actually do something to make life happen Okay, to you according to what you want. You cannot expect you know, the stars to fall in luck and then all of a sudden your life is going to be different. No, you can't. You have to do something about it. That's what happened to me. I relied on those charms. And they're nothing, they're just things. They do not contribute. So, which is why nothing happened. And again, you, I lost sync with my environment and did not bring me to the person that I wanted to be, uh, be in. So, you know, so, make sure that what I'm trying to say is that when you want to have your life, the way you design it, make sure that the cost of action is in alignment to the effect that you want. Okay? You cannot just do nothing and expect life to be better. Okay? Yan yung kadalasan nangyayari sa mga tao. They think that by sticking to the state of inertia, just wait for the sky to fall, that's it. It's not. So, um, I hope in this very, uh, this story that I told you, I was able to give you a glimpse of what the cause and effect is. And every time you think about an action or you think about the goal, you always think that there has to be something in, or in order for you to get this. There should be an exchange. Now, in order for you to be that person that can give you the cause of action that's good, make sure that your alignment of your place or your environment is in sync with you. Okay? So thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something again today. And I hope to see you again in my next vlog. Bye!